it was just perfect timing yesterday that we wrap things up and then the Padres make their announcement that, as our former colleague Kevin Acey said, was inevitable and they were going to fire Jace Tingler. So I just wanted to get in right away. Grande, brown man, fellas, they actually pulled the plug yesterday. And uh, it seemed like people were really celebrating. And my goodness, I put out that video. Uh, Alex, you actually put it out. And I retweeted a few things about Adrian Gonzalez talking yesterday about wanting to manage. And you know all these other guys that have gone from player to manager without taking the steps that a guy like Phil Nevin is taking or as the steps Dave Roberts took or the ones that Mark Loretta was taking. Guys who just went from player right into management. And my goodness, man, I put that stuff out on social media yesterday. And... Uh, and people were fired up and hot about it. They thought it was a terrible idea <laughs> for Adrian Gonzalez to even be considered. So I was surprised um, that it happened when it did, but I think all of us knew that it would and should. And so they pulled the plug fellas feedback. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I am. Well, it's gotta be honest with you guys. I don't think I've ever been as annoyed with the Padres as I am today. Honestly, like, the, the fact that they came out and publicly said that on they fired him on Wednesday, on Tuesday night, they still weren't mm-hmm. sure if they were going to do it. Like, mm-hmm. what have you guys been watching that you're still thinking on Tuesday night? We, we might bring this guy back. That's number one of my annoyance. Number two of my annoyance <laughs> is Peter Seidler's blind loyalty and trust in AJ Preller. It's gross, dude. Like, all of his comments, I, listen, first of all, the fact that Seidler's coming out and speaking to every media member possible, great, fine. I hate everything he's saying. I hate everything <laughs> he's saying. Every single word out of his mouth is annoying me. I believe in AJ Preller. We got the right players. I believe in our system. We're developing every, everything that we can see that is not happening, he thinks is happening. That is annoying to me. And number three, I'm already annoyed by their replacement. And I don't even know who it is. I'm already annoyed because it's going to be another guy and it might be a guy with experience a la Ron Washington, but a guy that's desperate for a job, a guy that will say yes to everything AJ says, and a guy that will go along with, with what we've been seeing. I'm annoyed today. Annoyed. That's what I think right now. I like it. I like it. I like that you're annoyed. Listen, um, I said this weeks ago, fire AJ Preller. And it's, it's taken a long time for other media members in San Diego to jump on that bandwagon, mm. mostly because those guys don't want to have their credentials taken away or don't want to lose their access to players. Well, we don't ask for players on this show ever. We don't ask for, for AJ Preller to come on. You know, I, I never asked Peter Seidler to come on the air. Um, so that to me has always been kind of the, the thought process is, Say what you want about who you want because you don't have to suck up to any of those guys. I said weeks ago, fire A.J. Preller. He's been with this franchise for seven years. They've gotten to one postseason. And I don't know what it is that that made Ron Fowler and now Peter Seidler fall so in love with this guy that they don't think anybody else can do this job. Why not look at it as we've gotten this far. He's helped us get this far. Now let's get better. Let's go find somebody who can do it better. Maybe add a wrinkle here or there. Um, And by the way, everything about this roster, dude, they can talk all day long. Because remember, we talked about this earlier in the week, 20% increase in tickets prices. So Peter Seidler is going to go out there and continue to sell the roster, the the position of the general manager, the the philosophy behind it. He's going to continue to sell all of that. So I can appreciate your annoyance. Browner, what do you think about all this? I think you guys are crazy. Like, what? <laughs> I told y'all they was going to fire him. So now I'm back in, baby. I told y'all I was out, <laughs> so they fired him. He out. Now I'm back. I don't think they should have fired Preller. Fire him for what? Again, you are one of the now, the San Diego Padres are now one of the most recognizable teams in baseball because of the moves that Preller has made. Yes, they did not get the level of success that we were looking for this year. But in that front office, they may view what success meant this year completely different. And they just needed to get rid of the manager as a way to just shield everyone else as they still go along with the plan. Again, Tatis is one of the most popular players in baseball. Preller did that. You may not, you may say, well, that's all he did. 
that's uh, uh, clearly that's enough for the owner because that's led to ticket sales. That's led to Jersey sales. That's led to popularity. That's what you're looking for from an owner's perspective. And if you look at it last year, they won. Yes, it was a shortened season this year. They did not win due to the course of the nature of baseball. That guys got injured. Preller can go in there with a proper excuse to say, this guy got injured. We brought in you, Darvish. This guy didn't perform. This guy didn't perform. But look what we got out of Joe Musgrove. Like, there's a lot of positives on this route. There's as many positives as there are negatives. But you guys are just bashing on the negative because the team didn't do well. Again, when they do when they do what the Giants yeah, did that's this what, year. Yeah, that, <laughs> yes, yeah. you have you have accurately described why we are where we are because when this team, which you say is so great, okay, finishes under five hundred. Yeah, we can't really exactly find all these positives that you're talking about. I, explain to me what I should take away from this baseball season, Mister Hype Man. What what should I take away that was such a great positive uh, on this team? The biggest positive that you should take away that you should wherever you're going right now, where the room yeah. you go in, you should say, hey, yeah. we got to tease. That's what you should be saying everywhere you go. We got Fernando to because you have one of the most recognizable players in baseball. That's one thing. Two, I keep telling y'all this. Y'all keep telling me it's irrelevant. It's unimportant. If he wins the MVP, mm-hmm. you now, because of this season, have the most valuable player on your roster. That is a thing that is valuable when you're trying to sell tickets, when you're trying to hype people for next year's success. That is a real thing. So that's already two things that you can take along with you on the hype train. But again, can, you can ain't got to get over show you. Isn't that, show you isn't that what the angels are doing? Isn't that, isn't that uh, everything that you bash the angels for? We got, I'm worried about the angels. I don't care about the angels. I don't care about the angels. We got the no, angels. On our roster. We got but, the MVP. The, we got Mike Trout. We got Otani. Look at us. Same thing. Listen, let me let, let me repeat this. Let me repeat this because you clearly didn't hear me. I don't get no damn about what the angels doing. doing. I don't the same care. Thing. Y'all wrapped up in old phony. Not me. I don't care what they're telling their fans. I'm looking at what we doing, okay? I'm looking at what we doing. Like I told y'all, all we need to do, we bring in one pitcher, maybe two, but we bring in one mm. pitcher. We got four solid rotation guys. We got Clevenger coming back next year. We got Musgrove. We got Snell. We got Darvish. Those guys will be better. And Alex, with the idea yes. of them being healthy. Y'all, listen, okay. haters go hate, hey, baby. No, we listen, hold on. Uh, you, you're cracking me up because here's mm-hmm. the thing, Alex. Yes. You and me both think Browner's out of his mind. Yeah. Okay. But you have no idea. Look at my son right here. <laughs> trying well, no, my no, son is with Desperately my son trying, is trying to stay out of the frame. John is 100% right. Thank you. I don't know if you guys – can you guys hear him? Yes. 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 Listen to this. When was the last time San Diego had an MVP in anything? Thank you. Anything. I think that is one great spot. Joe Musgrove, also amazing. Blake Snell finished the year amazing. Cy Young looked like it at the end of the year. We're fine. We just needed a guy to actually know what he's doing. See, that's all. See, yeah. see, Alex, real fans. Alex, this uh, this guy right here, brown man. Yeah, as as annoying as you and me are, dude. He's right. He's actually brainwashing no. young, impressionable, what? young. Actually, I had this opinion before, John. Which is fair. He probably did. He probably you know did because you know you listen. You know why he could have this opinion before me because it's easy to come to. Anybody with eyes can understand this. But if you look in the hate like these other two bozos, that's what they're gonna do. They gonna I hate. They gonna think... find a reason to hate. Uh, listen, all listen, all of everything that you you're saying. Angry man, angry man here today. What, what's up, angry man? Everything that you're saying is is correct. They do have a corner piece in Tatis. They do have three legit infielders, and they have one good starter. But you one. need a lot more than that. Wait, wait, wait. Time. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to say, okay, who's the one? I don't want to hear this. Musgrove. He's the only one that's trustworthy. The only <laughs> one. Did you not see Blake Snell in the ear? The young man just told yeah. you, look at how Blake Snell Blake, Yeah, I saw him. Four good starts. Four good starts, you bozos. Four good starts. Four. Pretty good. Four. It's the, hey. How many bad starts did Joe Musgrove have, though? Probably like four. He's the only one that didn't miss a start. Let me ask you guys. Let me ask you guys a question. Just just tell me this. Just tell me this. Since we're all involved in this conversation now, how many people here last night legitimately watched the Dodgers and the Cardinals? I watched all four and a half hours. I think I watched all of it. Okay. So did I. You? Nope. Didn't watch. You guys think that the Padres 
You guys think that that's the, the, they're they're right there? You, you look at those two teams last Come night. On. You look at those are two teams serious? battle. That's a serious question. Yeah, it's a serious are you, question. You are guys, you kidding crazy. me? Are you kidding? So, so you're gonna telling, you're gonna so, tell me in so a one go game go scenario the Padres can't do what the Cardinals did last night? Lose? Come on, yes, y'all. We've seen can. Blake Snell. We've seen Blake Snell do seven innings of no hit baseball. Like, what are you yeah. talking about? No, Blake Snell no, no, could have no, done I, that. They they could have. That anybody could have. Any right. team could beat any team on any given night, but. But dude, did you, the 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 poise, the bench, the the getting the most out of your entire roster, a, a guy who's not hitting at all comes up big. Um, you know, Dodger fans all season long they complained about Bellinger. He had a huge night. They complained about Jansen. He was important to last night's win. Just look at the Dodger roster, and then just compare it to the Padre roster, and you say that the the Padres are this close to the Dodgers, and I go, well then. How come the Dodgers won 106 games and the Padres won 78? And don't tell me injuries because the Dodgers had as many to as many big stars. In fact, probably more. I'm just telling you that right now, this roster, as it currently is, is not enough. And the guy who took the fall was Tingler. But the guy who should take the fall is Preller. And I just don't understand why nobody else. I mean, listen, I'm just telling you guys this. A lot of local media people. I heard our boy Darren Smith yesterday afternoon because I got off. We got off. Then all this firing stuff happened, and then I listened into Darren, and I, I, people are starting to come around to. I feel like Darren Keller's was, had a long time. Darren was actually yelling. I never heard him yell before. Oh, oh, um, listen, here's the thing about – listen, can we just stop talking about roster, please? Please, can we stop? Can we start talking about what matters, performance, and how the Padres are not performing? I don't give a damn who's on the roster. I can't name you one Tampa Bay Ray player, but they're all performing, and that's what matters. Last night shows you when it comes to, to performing, when it mattered, the Dodgers came through, and it was a no-name like Chris Taylor. All I'm telling you guys is I don't care who has a better roster. I don't care who has a better pitching staff. Who's performing better? The team that won 30 or was it 28 more games. That's who. The Bro, Giants don't have a have, roster. The but, Giants don't have a roster. When you give Eric Hosmer every at-bat, you're not going to win. So Look at Browner. Look at him. I, just, I, I, I can't listen. I can't, I can't, I can't argue with guys it. that don't like to look what's in front of them. I just can't argue with you because you don't understand that the Padres won 78 games. It doesn't matter who's on their roster because they won 78 games. Alex. Hey, what's wrong with you two guys? What's as wrong with you? As long as Eric Cosmer and Will Myers and Tommy Pham are on the roster, I totally agree. They won't go anywhere. Let me explain something. All right, what, God, you're, what you're trying to say about what Chris Taylor did last night Hassan Kim could have done that last night off the bench. That what like a guy came in and got a hit. That's what he was supposed to do. And that guy sucked all year. So the fact that y'all talk about how great you don't want to talk about rosters. All right, don't talk about rosters. Talk about performances. Okay. Uh, uh, who's this guy you just talked about? Bellinger sucked all year. Sucked all year. Had a good game. Will Myers couldn't have done that. He sucked all year. He couldn't have had a good game in that spot. Like, what are we talking about? Yeah, I'm not talking we're about talking, one game. Here's what we're, not talking, not talking, talking about. About we're talking about. We're talking about a team. <laughs> we're talking about a team that was able to get to the postseason, mm -hmm. win 106 games during the regular season with Bellinger sucking, with a guy like Taylor who wasn't doing anything, um, with all of a sudden their, their star first baseman hurt, with all the injuries that they sustained all year, They that roster – still won 106 games. That means that they are 28 games better than the Padres just in wins. And then when it came time to actually have to make something happen, that roster performed. That's that's all we're talking okay, about. Let me say this. Padres, you're, I'm not you're talking saying about the Padres last night could either. have, and I'm saying the Padres couldn't get there. Okay, let me say this. Let me say this uh, before before y'all start going back and forth about all these bogus theories y'all got. The yeah. Dodger organization, the dog, the Dodger organization has built yeah. a winning organization for a very mm -hmm. long time under their mm -hmm. current management. The Padres are in the process of turning that around and building a winning organization, which began with the previous year, which was a shortened season. Yes, this year was down. That's not a debate. That's a fact. The statistics and the record will tell you that. What I'm telling you, if I'm in the ownership, I'm trusting in Preller because he got me what I like. I like what we have. Can I move these parts around? Absolutely, I can. But you know what I don't have to worry about doing? Tearing things down and yes, starting over. And that's, that's I'm where already in a good spot. Exactly. And you're right, 100%. Peter, everything you just said, Peter Seidler believes, and that is a difference of opinion. I do not like what we have. 
Peter Seidler loves it. I don't. 